Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This is a 12 inch block called Wild Flowers and Butterflies. Here is the diagram and here are four blocks set block to block so you get your little curve and fluttery looking design going on here. This is a free pattern download from Robert Kaufman Fabrics and the pattern that you can download makes a 44 and a half inch by 56 and a half inch quilt. If you scan this code here you can download the pattern from their website. There are three patches. The first patch A is a two inch finished square. We'll cut two and a half inch squares. You'll need four patches of each of these fabrics. The background and these are the two light fabrics. The butterflies here, there's a dark and a light fabric in this butterfly and then a dark and a light fabric in this butterfly. So that's what those are. Patch B and BR are for these half rectangle triangles. In the pattern that you can download there is a template if you want to cut out the template and use that or it suggests using the Tri-Rex tool set and using the rectangle part, this part here, to cut these pieces. And you'll cut the fabric strip and fold it with the wrong sides together because we need a, a B and a B reversed and I'll show you those. And then you're going to use the Rex template to cut the required number of sets of triangles. For these three fabrics we will need, for this one we will need two sets of half rectangle triangles. You'll cut one strip at four and a half inches by eight inches and that strip you'll fold in half with right wrong sides together then make your cuts. You'll do the same thing for the blue, two sets. You cut one strip at four and a half by eight inches and then fold it in half with wrong sides together. For this yellow fabric, you're going to cut four sets. You'll cut one strip at four and a half inches times 16 inches and fold that in half with wrong sides together and then make your cuts. If you have the AccuQuilt eight inch cube companion angles, you'll have, you can use die 14 for this. And you also, for when you cut these, you'll place the fabric wrong sides together and then cut the required number of sets. And patch C is a two inch by four inch finished rectangle. We're going to cut four and a half inches by two and a half inches and we'll need four patches from the background. Here are the AccuQuilt dies you can use to cut those. Now let's look at the fabrics. Uh, just a word about choosing fabrics. People often ask me how I choose fabrics and get them all coordinated. I'm, um, I'm not very confident in choosing fabric so I let the manufacturers choose them for me. Here's my little project box and this is my newest um, fat quarter bundle. I like to buy fat quarter bundles. This yellow did not come with it. I just used it in this quilt or this block. But these are all coordinated and these are kind of tannish or rust colored fabrics with blue. So I just like that and here's a little bit of gray in there too. This is called Kawa, K-A-W-A, and it's by Debbie Ma Maddie. So I choose fat quarter bundles because I know that anything I put together with in the block is going to look good because they're all coordinated from the same collection usually or it's a coordination of fabric bundles. And some um, quilt shops either online or at your at the local quilt shop will they'll make bundles for you and of just particular fabrics. So I always take advantage of that. If you don't need fat quarters, look for fat eighths. And a fat eighth is half of a fat quarter. It's nine inches by 21 inches. And that's enough if you're doing sampler blocks and that kind of thing. So I cheat and I just let the manufacturer choose fabrics for me. The other fabrics I like are just bright colored fabrics. I know that the red, yellows, blues, oranges, and greens, if they're all bright, they'll all go together. And, and that's my go-to fabric selections. So let's look at the, these fabrics from the Kawa 
collection. And that's from Moda. Here are the squares. This is patch A. And these go like the body of the butterfly and in the corners of the block. And this is the background, and this is the light rust butterfly, and this is the light blue butterfly. Here are these little half rectangle pieces we were talking about. These are for the butterflies, and this is for the background. These were cut with the wrong sides together, so when you open them up, you have a B and a B reversed. And all of these are cut like that. So if I open this up, you'll see that these go together like this. So when you're trying to make your half rectangle triangles, this is what you'll do. So these are the, for the half rectangle triangles, these are the rectangles to finish the block. First we're going to make all of the half rectangle triangles. Alright, so in this picture, we'll have two of these. and two of these. So these will lay out just like this. And then another set of the yellow here. And we're going to sew these four together. For sewing these half rectangle triangles together, if you cut out using the template or if you use the tri rec tool, or if you use the AccuQuilt, be sure you cut off this little corner, this little tip here, and it's very small. Let me show you on one of these. You can see this little tiny, tiny, tiny piece here. It looks insignificant, but it's really going to help you to put your pieces together when you sew them. Okay, so I'll show you on this one that I've already done. So we're going to sew these two together and this little tip of the one you put on top will match up with the top edge see this you're lining up this edge here and this little piece is what you cut off and see it lines up on this edge going across here so when we do just line up this other part easier to do than to describe it to you. This is matched up here and then this edge is matched here and you'll sew your quarter of an inch when you put those together and then press your seams open. Here's a close-up of the stitching. The quarter of an inch falls right here on this point. Now I'm going to press the seams open. Here's a close-up of the piece that's been pressed and if you look here, there's a little nub you need to cut off here and down here at the bottom. And let me zoom in closer to show you. Let me cut this nub off. If you see this little bitty angle that's cut out here, don't worry about that. It will be taken up in your quarter of an inch when you sew these to the other units. The same thing happens down here on the other side. There's a little bit of an angle sticking out here that are a little bit of an angle that's cut off here. So don't worry about that again. It's going to be in the quarter inch seam allowance. Now let's finish all of our eight half rectangle triangles. For step two, we're going to take two of the blue squares and two of the rust squares. These are the light ones. And we're going to sew them to one of the background squares. So we're going to sew like that, like that, and like that. So we'll have four of these units. Now we'll take our rectangles and sew them to this side of these units we just made. We'll have these four units and press the seams open Step three on the list, we're going to take these units we just finished and we'll put one of these like this and this one like that. Nope, wrong one. This one like that and then the blue. 
So you'll make two of these and then do the same thing with the rust color. and make two like this. Then we'll have four units and we'll put the block together. Now we have our four units done, so we just need to put the block together. And then when if you put these block to block, then you'll have the butterflies for these two as well. So we'll, put, we'll sew these two together, then these two, and then sew the rows together, and the block is finished. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.